to get another review of a Block 17. Very nice gun. And I uh, also got my holster right here. It's a big one. So, going to get about a gun. This gun is a sprint type. It means that you have to cock it every time you want to shoot it. This mag holds about 12 BBs. Just take this little slide down. Lock it, it locks in the place. Push this button right here. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Just press it. Put your BBs in. Release it. And just press this button right here. Press it. It shoots up the spring. And take it down. And cock it. I'm gonna make a shoot. This gun has a safety button right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the light, it's not much better. Just turn it down. It's right low, it's just located above my finger. Just push it up. Now it's off safety. Push it down. It's on safety. Well, with the safety on, you can't pull the trigger, but you can't calm the weapon. Now I'm going to end up. I can't fire this gun. If I put it up like this one, I can calm the weapon for and just shoot. Yeah, it's very good. This gun shoots about 250 FPS with 0.2 gram babies. And uh, it's actually kind of fast for a sprint. Yep. This one cost only um, about, uh, let me say, about uh, $50. Just $50. Because it's from um, KWC. It's a really good mark. I uh, don't have any problems at all with this gun or any of my other guns. Uh, got an M4 right over there. You'll see a review later of that. Um, got an M1911. Uh, a cold special combat got a little shotgun right over there just a lot of guns you know but back over to the gun this gun has some trigger safety I mean there is a little blotch I don't know if you guys can see that but you have the trigger that's like a shape of a banana and just right on the trigger is a little notch you have to push that or you can't fire the gun just you know, when you put it in your holster, you gun, it's you don't have to worry that it uh will go off in your holster when you're running around in the in the woods or something, or uh, maybe climbing a bunker or something. Just you know, it's very good because you have always have to put your finger on the trigger before you can shoot it. Just shoot it and cock it. I'm gonna hold the trigger with my both my hands, both my fingers, just, I can't pull it back. I have to press this little button in right here, just, then it only can shoot. Um, this weapon has no slide lock, no open slide, where you can see the BBs, it don't have, if you guys can see that, you can't see through this gun, maybe with the mag out. Even with the mag out, you can't see through this gun. Not at all. Uh, as I said, this gun has no slide lock uh, because it's spring type. Most spring types, about $50 or less, are, um, are not going to have a, uh, a slide, uh, slide lock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're not going to have a slide lock because the spring is just. Uh, too big, you know, the recoil spring, uh, recoil spring, you know, the spring that um, makes your slide go up and uh, forward and backward is a bit too heavy for slide lock. But, you know, there are guns with slide locks and they're still spring type, you know, that's our, uh, about 70, 65, 70 dollars. Uh, that's kind of cool because, you know, you just can't. Push, press it back and just release it and just oops, 
slide lock on, take another mag, put it in, and just pull the slide lock off like this. Well, that was my uh, little review of the Glock 17 KWC Airsoft Gun. Uh, you will see a review of my holster, my other guns, especially my M4, because that is my just my favorite gun. It shoots about 300, 350 FPS, sorry. And uh, but you'll see a review later. Okay, kids, have fun in the airsoft field. Don't shoot your eyes out. Always wear some safety goggles right here, some yellow. It's about $25, $20. And uh, I'm out. Bye.